Chloe, you are actively suggesting eating cold baked potatoes while walking in a hill. Absolutely delicious, eh? especially to spread a bit of marmite. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, Susie, I, 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 I do know that you're not asking Zoe if she'll come on a walk. <laughs> that sounds really good. Make a date. Well, here we are, Clash and Darug Forest. We've had a huge amount of snow overnight and yesterday up here. There's a, a foot of snow. And uh, I was here on, with mum uh, on Monday and there was only a, uh, a small dusting back then. But now we've got over a foot and there's about six or seven centimeters of new snow down in old rain as well so i'm just going to go for clash and Darrick forest there's absolutely nowhere else to park i had to volunteer as well for digging out uh, some new parking spaces in the uh, car park so uh now we're gonna enjoy a little bit of winter wonderland up in the snowiest forest in scotland This is the 
little hut which I liked. I guess you have things like this in Norway where you can just sit down for your for your sandwiches. It's quite amazing. Really, really scary. Ben and Jerry's have said that that the ice cream they're going to start stockpiling. I mean, I've been doing that for quite a long time, just <laughs> on the safe side. And actually, there is government advice that you should get quite. The BBC was forced to apologise after showing footage that suggested Theresa May would fly to Brussels in a World War II Spitfire. <laughs> <laughs> she will in fact be transported in the usual way in the boot of the Mondeo with a sock to gag her screams. <laughs> Two points to Andy. Tim, who's not sanctioning bad behaviour? Uh, I think I'll just turn around. What's going on in the former oh. social... <laughs> 